Hello there, this is Jay from JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials for students and professionals in the fields of architecture and interior design. In this video, I will be talking about basic drawing commands. And I will also be covering a little bit of the drafting settings. All right, so the drawing commands, let's see. So if you are on the home ribbon, you should be on the home ribbon actually so you can see these drawing commands right here I'll be talking in this video about the line polyline circle arc and the rectangle command alright so let's start with the line command I'm gonna click on the icon here and then somewhere here in an empty area I'm gonna specify the first point you can see here beside the cursor it says specify first point so I'm gonna click somewhere here and then I'm gonna give direction and then here I need to specify the second point so for example if I type 10 inches by default AutoCAD understand that this is inches okay actually it might not necessarily I just need to do one change in this in the unit settings I'm gonna go to units set this to architectural or engineering and I'm gonna start drawing the line again gonna click here give direction and now you can see in the preview on the numbers it's showing us the foot symbol and the inch symbol so right now I'm just gonna do let's say 8 inches I can put 8 and the inch symbol or without the inch symbol it will understand 8 inches and I'm gonna zoom a little bit closer and I'm gonna give direction again and I'm gonna say 8 inches and as you can see the line command keeps going it doesn't stop drawing line after line and you can see it's saying specify next point so I'm gonna give direction here and I'm gonna type 1 6 or 16 and then again I'm gonna do 16 here then 8 and then with the mouse I can click here to close the geometry and you can see even though the geometry is closed we will the line command will keep going so what we need to do is to click enter on your keyboard or space to finish the command either enter or space or you can right click with the mouse and choose or select enter all right so I really want to focus on something here that when you are doing commands in AutoCAD any any command in AutoCAD not only the drawing command um, drawing command so again I'm gonna start line the line command um, always make sure to read what the software is telling you because it will always guide you through the process of doing the command so for example when I start the line command the what it says right now is specify first first point and you see it beside the cursor and here on the bottom this is what's called the command line and in the command line you can see it's showing that the line command is active right now and the step right now in doing the command is specify first point so again I'm gonna click somewhere here and you can see now it's saying specify next point or also we have the option or um, on the on the cursor you can see it has a tiny arrow bottom arrow on it so on your keyboard if you click on the arrow you see this is an additional option is to undo what we're doing uh, but for now I'm just gonna click up arrow that way I don't do the undo or you can click here and do and select undo and that will undo the first selection of the point here actually let's click it so we can start a new point so again I'm gonna click here somewhere and you see it says specify next point right now it's giving us the the dimension this time I'm gonna say one foot let's do one foot eight all right so and let's see one foot eight here giving direction and then I'm gonna do one foot eight and here's a quick tip here um, we have the option to go down in the arrow um, if you go down with the arrow we didn't see the close option earlier because we were just starting the line command but after you draw the first line and the second line you will get the close option if you go down in the arrow on the on your keyboard if you just click on the down arrow or if you look here on the command line on the bottom you can see that we can choose close or undo and what close will do it will close this geometry from the first point where it started um, uh, from from the last point sorry to the first point that you created 
and I'm gonna go ahead and choose that I'm gonna click on it it closed the geometry and now the command is over all right so I'm gonna also show a different um, a different thing about line I showed this in a different video in the units video uh, I'm gonna mention it again here that if you want to draw a line and you want to combine um, if you want to put for example um, fractional values like quarter or half or three quarters or one eighth or five eighths this is how you would do it for example we want to do six inches and a half so what we can do we can do six dash one slash two and that will give us six and a half inches and then let's say I want to combine now uh, feet and inches and half an inch for example so let's say one foot um, three inches and then I'm gonna do dash three slash four so that would give us 15 inches and three quarters and you hit enter and that's the format for typing these dimensions and then here I'm just gonna I'm just gonna right click and click enter to finish the command okay so I mentioned already that you can click enter or or space to finish the command I also want to talk about uh, canceling the command so for example I'm gonna start the line command again I'm gonna click somewhere here click here I can click here or if you just click escape it will cancel the command so again line I'm not looking at the measurements and if you click escape you need to understand that escape cancels the command so in the case of the line command it, it didn't erase all these lines that we already drew but in some other commands it will actually erase what you have already what you have already drew so just be mindful that escape in AutoCAD means cancel and enter means finish the command and I'm gonna actually bring the notepad right here and type few notes so so let's see so enter or space to start and finish a command escape button is to cancel a command all right uh, and what I've mentioned to you already is that um, reference the command line it guides you through the process of a comment okay so that was regarding that these are these are basically tips that I wanted to mention and now drawing commands we have lines um, so I showed you that you can click on the line icon here to start the line command another way is to actually type on your keyboard right away to type L and then if you click enter on your keyboard that will start the line command and that's basically the shortcut for it so I'm gonna go back to AutoCAD I'm gonna click here so if you type in on your keyboard if we type L right now so let's say L you can see right away a menu will pop up with all the commands that starts with the L letter so what I can do right now I can either move the cursor here and select line or simply just click enter on your keyboard so you would type L then click enter and that would start the line command and then you can start just like you already saw first point and then I can type C on the keyboard and click enter and that will close the shape and that was the the command uh, the close option that I showed you earlier in the line command alright so we created all of these so far let's talk about let me actually refer to my notes so let's see so I just told you about the line and also the option or tip is use close use close so you can close the geometry when you're drawing okay now let's move to the circle command and circle you can see we can from the home ribbon there's circle here you can click on it and that will start the uh, circle command by the way you can see if you just point your cursor on any command in AutoCAD it will show a contextual menu which basically talks about 
the command and, and how to how to how to execute the command. So right now it's saying that the circle command it's based on the center and the radius. So first we need to choose the center and the second point will be the radius. So let's click on it. And now you can see here on the cursor it does say specify center point for circle. We also have options. Whenever you see or it means that there's options for drawing the circle and you can also see it here on the bottom in the command line we can do a three-point circle a two-point circle and then tangent tangent radius which is another method to create the circle I, I am in personally actually I don't know about the tangent tangent radius I've never used this method I definitely use the three points and the two points all right so I'm gonna specify the center point for circle and then I'm gonna specify the radius for the circle so for example let's do six inches so I type six which means six inches so that means that this circle has a diameter of 12 inches or one foot and the radius of course is six inches okay and let's do the circle again I'm gonna click circle here and this time I'm just gonna put it on this point and I can type the dimension or I can just come to this point and it will make a, a circle with the radius equal to this line distance from this from the center to here and that will make this circle okay and here's another one but this time I will do I will use the keyboard shortcut I will type C and C is for circle click enter and then I'm gonna click here and to here and now we have a circle going through the geometry here all right now regarding the other methods of creating a circle I'm gonna show you that by clicking on this arrow under the the word circle so if you click on it these are the different methods that AutoCAD has for for drawing a circle so the default one by default whenever you start the uh, circle command it will do it based on the center and then radius you have the option to come here and choose center diameter and then you also have two point three point and I mentioned that I actually don't know how to use this one. Uh, I haven't used it. And then this one, tangent, tangent, tangent. Um, I guess, yeah, I, w I don't actually have a good example for this one. So let's talk about the other ones. So center diameter, it's pretty simple. You do the center. And now the number you're seeing right now represents the diameter of the circle. So I'm going to do 12. Or actually, let's do one foot. That's the same. Click enter. And here we go that was diameter and then let's do a circle based on two points so I can do a circle bay I can do a circle that pass through this point and this point so let's do that let's specify the first point I'm gonna click with the left button on the mouse and then the second point and this is basically the circle that pass through these two points on this line and let's try now the circle with three points gonna draw the circle that passes through let's see through these three points gonna click here click here and then click here and this is the circle that passes through these three points okay so that was regarding the line and the circle and the different methods I wanted to show you all right regarding arc here's arc um, arc three points so the way that we draw the arc I'm gonna click on the command basically we need to specify three points so for example I'm gonna specify a point for example right now the center of the circle is getting highlighted let's do a one that goes through this point this point and this point and this is the arc that goes through these three points it's very similar to drawing a circle between three between, uh, between these three points except that we're only seeing this portion of the arc we're not seeing this portion of the uh, hypothetical circle okay so that was regarding arc let's see the options for drawing arc now arc has so many different options for drawing it in AutoCAD uh, let's see let me highlight one of the ones that are easy to use and that you would use um, in drawing as an interior designer or an architect so let's see start center and the end so let's say we want to draw an arc that goes starts here and the center of it is in the midpoint here 
and then it ends here I actually don't see the midpoint here so that means I'm gonna click escape to cancel the command and here I'm gonna come down to drafting settings beside the object snap and I'm gonna click on this arrow and I'm gonna make sure to have midpoint selected okay and then I'm gonna click outside the menu and that close it and then let's come back here to arc and again we're doing the arc start center end so this will be the start this will be the center you can see AutoCAD saying specify center point of arc and again a reminder here on the command line make sure to reference it especially when you're first starting to learn the process of doing commands so let's do the center and this will be the end point of the arc all right so that was regarding arc let's let's look at another example let's see start end, and then we give the direction start end, and the radius so this might be a cool one so let's do here I'm gonna do uh, this is the starting point of the arc this is the end point and then I'm gonna give the radius the radius for it let's see I can actually only do it to this direction let's do 45 and see how it looks like alright so the radius of the arc right now is 45 I'm actually not sure how is this represented in 45 um, so I guess this one I'll let you figure it out I'm not sure how to use this one um, let's see another one start center length I'll be honest me personally I usually only use the the three points uh, arc that's all I've needed when I'm drawing and also I view I also use the circle all the time and then I would do trim to get rid of things that I don't need like parts of the circle that I don't need okay so that was that all right pushing the screen here a little bit to the side so now let's talk about the rectangle command so the rectangle is this button right here this icon um, you can also type on your keyboard R so R is not the command E so R is not the one C so that's the one R E C and I'm gonna click enter and we're gonna start the um, start the rectangle first I'll just bring back the notes so I just showed you I already showed you lines we talked about circle and we talked about sent a circle to draw based on the radius diameter two points and we talked about three points arc I wasn't able to talk about all the different methods of using the arc um, I personally only use the three point and that's the the one I focused on okay and now we're talking about rectangle the shortcut for rectangle is gonna put it in let's actually put like this enter and then arc is a plus enter that's the shortcut you probably figured that you always need to click enter after the shortcut all right then circle is C and plus enter let's do the same here <coughs> okay so back to AutoCAD rectangle so I already clicked here actually let's click double click escape and start the rectangle command again I'm gonna click on the icon here or you can also do REC I'm gonna go with the shortcut I, I will always go with the shortcut actually better learn the shortcut saves a lot of time so and let's start with the rectangle so you see the process specify the first corner point and I'm gonna click here and then I'm gonna give direction so let's say I want to draw a rectangle that is um, 24 inches by 12 inches so the way to do that is to type 24 and then to give the other dimension you need to use comma and it will jump to the other dimension for the rectangle and now you type 12 and here we go now we have a rectangle 24 by 12 and I will select the rectangle and highlight it I'm gonna put the mouse on one of the grip points and you can say 
in the preview it says 2 feet by 1 feet which is equal to 24 inches by 12 inches all right so that was regarding rectangle um, I just want to mention something in the in the video that regarding drafting settings so drafting settings in order for you to get the same results you are seeing here in this video you need to make sure a few things are activated here on the bottom in the drafting settings so for example right here I have a grid mode on which is what's showing us this grid in the background so if you'd like to have that on um, you can select that button as long as it's uh, highlighted in blue it means it's active uh, the next one here is the dynamic input so dynamic input this is basically the command that allows the information from the command line to also show beside the mouse cursor so when I type L right now you can see this list or this menu popping up here right beside the cursor uh, this is this is dynamic input so I'm gonna click escape select it here uncheck it and then type L again and you can see now nothing is popping up beside the cursor and rather the list of commands that start with the L letter they're all showing up here on the command line uh, I love dynamic input I'm gonna keep it on and there's another reason for keeping dynamic uh, input on is because the what I showed you a little earlier about the preview of the dimensions if I put the mouse back here on this corner you see that there's no more preview of the dimensions in for these two lines from here and to here so I'm gonna click on it again highlight it and now you see the preview again so this is something to to have act I recommend that having it active makes makes my life a lot easier okay so grid mode dynamic input another one to keep on is polar tracking so polar tracking so this icon right here polar tracking is what allows us to see the green reference line when we're drawing so I'm gonna click the line here and you saw you see this a green reference dashed line right now that's allowing us to lock the mouse to to 90 degrees you see the 90 on the right side um, the polar tracking is what allows us to do that once you go from once you go away from the 90 degrees and we approach the zero degrees here it will highlight it again so basically it's highlighting every 90 degrees so this is 90 again and it's highlighting it doesn't fully lock the mouse but it guides the direction and as long as you're moving the cursor along this green line you will have actually a straight line so you want to have the polar tracking on and I'll show you when it's off gonna do line again enter or space gonna click and you see now there's no reference line and um, you might ha run into issues if you're not using polar tracking is that your lines are not perfectly uh, straight and that that caused a lot of problems down the road for your project so better have it on see the reference line and now we can we can draw with no problems click enter click enter again to finish the command okay and bring back the notes another one that you want to make sure to be on is object snap tracking we didn't cover this so I'm not gonna talk about it in this video I will talk about the object snap object snap as a command needs to be on this is what allows us to reference the um, like certain points on our geometry for example if I bring the mouse now to the corner of this rectangle we will see a reference a green reference square which represent the endpoint of this geometry the rectangle and if you see it and you click on it this is perfectly sitting in this endpoint or corner between these two lines so this is one of the snap points that are active right now if you click on the small arrow beside it you will see the full list and in this video I had the endpoint selected midpoint center I had intersection extension these two we haven't we didn't do anything actually we used intersection um, extension we, we didn't have this situation so I won't cover this but you want to have for the most part you want to have these at least on if you're following this video and learning the drawing commands the basic drawing commands okay and I'm gonna click on the small arrow again to close it and zoom out okay you might look here there's one more setting uh, the show annotative annotation object sorry um, this we didn't do anything that relates to it so it's okay if it's on or off it wouldn't make 
wouldn't make a difference for this video particularly okay so and let's bring back the notes so you want to make sure grid mode on dynamic input on polar tracking is on and also object snap is on and I showed you that we had endpoint selected endpoint midpoint and we had center and we had intersection and I think we had extension it's okay if it wasn't done right so polar tracking grid mode dynamic input poll tracking I just want to mention uh, one more thing about polar tracking here let's go back so polar tracking which is this icon here part of the drafting settings on the bottom right corner here if you click on this small arrow right beside it you will see that you have the option to get uh, different reference lines when you're working like different angles to reference so for example we we had 90 selected already and that's the default when you start an empty drawing in AutoCAD but you can come here choose 45 and now I'm gonna show you I'm gonna start the line command again I'm gonna click the first point and then here you saw this is the zero point but now if I approach the 45 degree um, you will see now we will also get a green reference line here and again this is another 45 at the 90 another 45 another 45 here and so on you get the idea um, I keep using the line command but it's the same for the circle as well so I can click here and I can start the, uh, the circle to here or I can go in this direction this direction so polar tracking works basically on all the commands not only on the line command specifically uh, I just keep using it because it's a very simple command to use alright let's go back to our notes so that's that regarding drafting settings okay so now I'm gonna talk about the last drawing command in this video which is the polyline all right and let's go back to AutoCAD so there's line here you saw that and there is polyline and the difference between both commands is that line when you're drawing lines I'm gonna draw a few lines here and then type C and then click enter that closed the geometry if you come here with the cursor and put it in one of the lines you'll see it highlights only this line uh, if you click with the left button on the mouse it will select it and you see that it didn't select the entire geometry even though it's connected and it's closed uh, it only selected this segment only this line and if I come click here it's gonna add this line to the selection and you see each one of them is an individual line so the line command creates individual lines the polyline it's also a line tool uh, um, and what it does um, it's literally the same process like drawing a line it will ask you for the first point and then the next point and then I'm gonna do a similar geometry type C and click enter to close it and then I'm gonna put the cursor on top of the the this geometry I just drew and you will see the entire geometry gets highlighted and you're seeing right now in the quick preview of the properties it says this is a polyline I'm gonna actually select it I'm gonna click on it and you see that all these segments get selected and they're acting as a one geometry or one element or one object actually would like to write this in my notes is that um, you can say objects in AutoCAD elements and you can also say geometry alright so polyline the shortcut for it is PL P plus L plus enter of course next video I won't be putting enter anymore now PL and enter and basically it's multi multi line kind of command so lines will create single lines while the polyline will create multiple lines uh, if you ask me for my preference would you use line or polyline or, and when would you use either I personally only use the polyline command there's no reason I I don't think there's a good reason to draw single lines uh, I would rather always use the polyline and um, I guess I will just add one more note here is that you can actually join these lines and make turn them into a polyline a single element and that's by doing the join command 
so I just selected all of them and then I'm gonna type J and if you click enter and then come here with the mouse and select this became a polyline all the line segments they got connected together and they're acting as a polyline and the opposite way if you select this polyline and type X which stands for explode this is a modifying command as well as a join command I'm gonna click enter and it will turn this polyline from multiple lines from a from multi, like a, a single element into multiple lines so now each of each one of each segment became an individual element or geometry or again um, object so that's regarding the line and multi uh, and polyline sorry um, you can switch back and forth between them I just always prefer to work with polyline so here we talked about I'm just gonna add in my notes here for your reference we talked about so this is drafting settings and we talked about that objects elements or geometry you can say any of these and I will add to this modifying commands we talked about join to join lines into a polyline and we talked about explode just gonna type the shortcut like this to separate a polyline into individual line elements and join the shortcut for it is J plus enter right and that was it for the basic drawing in AutoCAD video